Hi, my name is Kirene and I'm making hummingbird feeders. I went ahead and took a, a tube, the copper that you use for coolers, and what I did was I hot glue gun this edge and that edge to keep this cork that comes with these secure. This gauge here is just a little bit smaller than the gauge that you can order online or buy in the store. What I did was purchase a tip and just created my own crazy looking bird feeder. The little hummingbirds would just fly here. This is sugar and water. It's white sugar. It's four to one. So one cup sugar to four cups of water. The extra water you can put into your fridge. Make sure it's cooled before you add this into the feeder. So there's one version. My second version, I have a bottle here and what I want to do is fill it all the way to the brim. I'm going to lightly tap to get any bubbles out. The bubbles is what's going to, to release and create a vacuum. If you don't fill these bottles all the way to the top, this has a tendency to pee out and it empties your sugar water instantly. So what you're going to do is you're going to take this going to place it on top. Yes, we'll lose a little bit. And we'll put it in as hard and deep as we can. And as you see, you will not lose it. But let's see if it works. If I pour some of this out and maybe leave it at this distance, which we definitely don't want to do. I hope it doesn't prove me wrong. <laughs> but it might. Usually because there's not this tight vacuum, ah, it will drip. It will drip out and it will drip out until everything's gone. You can see up close that it's dripping out. So the whole goal before you even hang your feeder is to make sure it's all the way to the top. So let's say it's there. You can kind of, if you zoom in, you'll see these bubbles. I'm going to lightly tap it. I'm going to allow all these little bubbles to surface. If I were to put a flat sheet of paper or a tissue here, it would get wet. That's how high you want to fill this. Once, once all these bubbles rise to the top, which could take a minute, you'll take a tube, actually anything that you want to add. This little cylinder will fit very tightly in there, so my bubbles are just about done. What I'm going to do is use my thumbs. You'll feel and see the water rise. Just gonna secure it just a little more. Turn it over, and there's zero leaking. That's what we want, zero leaking. So if you're interested in hummingbird feeders and you have questions, you can text me at 520-327-4649. And I'm sure you can hear all the birds in my yard. Thank you, and have a great day.